student can expect that we will be very clear about whatever the allegation is. Um, we try to frame the context within which the conversation is taking place. It's more like due process. We want students to feel comfortable in our meeting. Um, they are our students, so we don't see them as a villain or someone who's committed a crime of, of any type. So we really want to focus on their understanding of the problem. And we want to get at the truth. So the key is about how we frame the context within which the student acted in, in the way he did. Um, so we want to be very kind to the student. We want to sort of recognize that all students, you know, make mistakes. Um, so if this is a mistake, we want to be sure the students learn from it. And we're less concerned about being punitive. We really want it to be educational, recognizing that students learn not just in the classroom, but outside of the classroom as well. And that this could be a learning experience. I write letters on behalf of students, even when they apply to medical school. Debbie and I were just talking about such an, a case in which, you know, someone, you know, regrets having done what he did, and now he's trying to get into med school. And you know, if someone has, you know, made a mistake and has accepted the responsibility and the consequence, you know, then we can move on and say, look, this mm -hmm. is this is only intended for this purpose. It's not intended to follow you for the rest of your life. We want you to learn from it. So when that action is taken and, and we take some sanction, it's over and as far as we're concerned. But it does have a residual effect because when you apply to graduate schools, they do ask you, you know, whether you've been, you know, whether you've cheated or things like that. So it could be a problem.